What's new and what's missing in the official India MIUI 12.5 build for the Redmi K20 Pro? Hey peeps, what's up? Manji here, back with another video and we finally have the official India build of MIUI 12.5 available for the Redmi K20 Pro. The first change you will notice is that you do have a new logo. Android version has been changed or upgraded to Android 11. The security patch is from June 2021 and yes, you do have the cool looking gestures over here and they are smooth so far then of course you do have the eyesore of broken animations with poop launcher which means you do not have access to your floating windows in the recent so how do you access your floating windows then well go into video toolbox and enable it for the applications and then you can tap on the app like so and you should be able to access your floating windows without any issues so you can go into settings special features video toolbox manage with your apps and enable it for all the applications where you want to access video toolbox and floating windows next change you will notice is that they have added a new boot animation which does come with a pretty irritating boot sound and in case you want to disable that you can go into settings sound and vibration additional settings disable this toggle of boot audio and you should be good to go and while we were in settings you do get a new sound ui as well so for starters let me turn off the wi-fi go into notifications as you can see they are opening their online store so let me kill the ringtones application go back into the option here it is this is the new tiled ui which i was talking about and you also have sound assistant which is your per app music level volume control and if you enable or disable your dnd you do get a pretty cool looking toast notification and while we're talking about dnd you have the new volume panel as well so this is how your new volume panel looks like which of course right now is not working all right so here it is this is how the new volume panel looks like select dnd and you also have a slider to choose your dnd timer wasn't that strange that the volume panel is not working all right now it is working previously it was not working okay so it doesn't work in the sound and vibration option it just changes the ringtone so i am being a noob over here next up you do have some fixes for the control center so this is how your control center looks like if you swipe down you will notice that the brightness slider and the automatic brightness button are now pinned at the bottom previously they would disappear below the screen and if you swipe across you should be able to access your notifications and press and hold on any notification you should have the option of allow snooze and more and of course we do have the android 11 easter egg cat which we have captured now do note that whatsapp does not support android 11 bubbles right now in fact i don't think so xiaomi has implemented the bubbles feature other than that you still do not have your mobile data usage in your control center and if you're worried about how i got this well for starters you have to enable the android 11 easter egg by going into settings about phone and then you can go into all specs tap on android version a few times use this slider and play with it for three times you will get this cat toast notification then you can go into settings notification and control center and here in smart home make sure that the easter egg is selected and now it is going to show up in your control center below it and any other smart device which you connect will also show up over here next up before i forget the most important feature of this build is the ability to get back l1 so go into settings password and security make sure you have set up a fingerprint and then you can go into fingerprint unlock confirm your password and once you've entered your password tap on next here in go into fingerprint payments widevine l1 certificate download it make sure you're connected to the internet you should get the certificate updated successfully toast notification and a date and reboot your device you should have your l1 back which means spending all day on netflix streaming stuff and on amazon prime hd 
Next up, if you go into settings and apps, herein you will see two new options manage home screen shortcuts, and these are going to remove whatever toggle you disable. Those applications will be removed and frozen remember they are removed and frozen not uninstalled and you also have the option of uninstalled system apps so i finally figured out how this works so let us say you have some application let me choose say the screen recorder application go into app info you see the option of uninstall updates i do this and say okay again i did uninstall updates for other apps which do not have updates you won't get the uninstall updates option now if i go into settings apps uninstalled system apps screen recorder is showing up over here and when i go to my app drawer the app icon is grayed out so it is not like uninstalled uninstalled it's more like uninstall updates so i don't know what they're trying to do and when you tap on this it should download it or you can always go into settings apps uninstall system apps as you can see as soon as i tapped on it it is now installing the application so the icon is no longer grayed out next up if you go into settings and then we can head over to the wallpaper section so wallpapers profile wallpapers super wallpapers you do have five super live wallpapers baked into the build next up if we go into the gallery application you will notice you still have the old gallery you do not have the personalization option but if you say go into the gallery settings you do have the option of selecting the best photo and if you go into secure sharing you can now share your pictures without sharing the location info and without the metadata in terms of the other applications if you open the file manager you still have the old file manager if you open the camera app you might see vlog mode but you do not have the clone mode and other features then we can also go into settings and additional settings here and if you go into full screen display you can of course hide the full screen indicator this bar at the bottom in case you want to and if you go into button shortcuts you do not have the option of a partial screenshot neither do you have tap tap on the back and as for the power menu the power menu is still the old power menu and if you go into settings and then we can go into privacy protection so you still have the old privacy style you do not have the miui 12.5 china style privacy protection wherein you can get notifications when something accesses your say the camera or the microphone digital well-being parental control this is still google's implementation you do not get the focus mode and other features so what is the final take on this miui 12.5 stable build for the redmi k20 pro well i think most of you are going to update to this build just for getting your l1 back and the fact that you do have better gestures now here it is now one thing which i noticed is that the edge moves along in the middle of the screen which can be an eyesore so if you have a look at the top somehow the ugly edge of the screen is moving and it is an eyesore for me personally might not be an eyesore for you other than that the ever so famous poop launcher is present with its broken animations but 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 again you do get android version update miui 12.5 is supposed to be 20 times faster rendering power whatever that means all in all not bad not bad l1 is restored and we get android 11 even though most of the android 11 features might be absent so there it is peeps that is what was new and what is missing in miui 12.5 official india build on the redmi k20 pro and that will do it for this video hope my video helped you likes shares and subscribes are appreciated feedback and comment more than welcome see you when i see you